Hey guys, welcome to this week's Rock in the Dot Friday. Thank you for being here. I am super excited to share some uh, beachy style things with you. The reason we are talking beachy things today is because in T minus six days, I'm totally counting down the days, I will be jumping on a plane to the Mayan Riviere because as uh, some of you may or may not know, my full-time job is actually a wedding photographer. And one of the best parts about my job is that I get the opportunity to be able to um, mix my love of photography with my love of travel. And while I'm there, obviously, I want to be fabulous with my Stella and Dot. First and foremost, I have to talk about the Riviera tote. So here is the bag. Isn't it so pretty? I'm not just saying that. I super, super love this bag, uh, even more in person when I got it. And what I love about it is it kind of has the best of both worlds because it's got this metallic sheen over top of it that gives that evening chic look. But then it's an easy transition with the raffia texture to it for a casual, fabulous, everyday look. A comfortable uh, hobo type style to toss everything in and go easily. Just got that little strap to kind of hold it together. But then inside it truly is just a dump all ready to go bag. But you've also got your um, pocket in here to keep more personal items in there. And you've got two, two other pockets on the sides here. It's so cute. Obviously I love the metallic. It's so pretty and it's got that blushy, eye candy type interior in there. So I don't know why I care about that stuff, but I'm a girl and I care about those kinds of things. Like what the interior of a purse looks like. So again, it's got the little hello gorgeous message in there, which I always love that Selen Dot has those extra little details to it. So that is the Riviera tote. Unfortunately, now that I've told you about it, it is on back order right now. So I know April 2nd today and um, May 14th, I believe is when it's back in stock. So definitely my must have summer bag because it's brilliant to just be able, like I said, to toss your clutch in uh, some little poofs that you've organized things into and go toss it and go. So Riviera Tote retails for $94 going to be back on sale uh, in May. Next, I wanted to talk about the City Slim Clutch. City Slim Clutch. I think on one of the videos I said that like five times really fast. I was quite proud of myself. Uh, the City Slim Clutch comes in this also raffia type metallic look. I'll get it a little closer there so you can see. Oh my gosh, did you just see my nails? You can't really tell how bad they are from here. I'm going to get them done before my trip and so I'm kind of holding back. Okay, I'm just, I'm just gonna be straight up with you. I lost one this morning. It was man down. I, you know, it got ripped off, like ripped right off. So I'm trying to strategically hide it, but like, look at the citizen clutch and you can't tell, you know, I'm strategically hiding it here. I'm just gonna come out. I'm not gonna hide it anymore. I'm just gonna own my in, insufficient nail. <sighs> I feel so much better that that's off my back. Like I don't have to hide it from you guys anymore. Let's just be honest. Let's just let there be truth. My nails are four weeks outgrown and I need to go get them done. But I want them fresh for my trip. So now that we have that out of the way, woo, I feel free. <laughs> Got no nail. Whoa. <laughs> that wasn't meant for you. Okay, moving on. Back to the City Slim Clutch. Again, why we love this is the metallic pattern on it. Uh, the, the same thing with the Raffia Tote. The metallic makes it a beautiful evening clutch as well as an everyday. And what I love about these is I, I like when I go on the holidays to be able to have um, something to just put my cell phone, some lip gloss, a room key, and... Um, whatever little kind of extras you need, but something simple like this. So something else that is a ridiculously fun and brand new feature about the City Slim Clutch is if you were in this circumstance, if you were packing your clutch and you're at the gift shop shopping, looking at those little sand in the bottle weird things that we think we need to bring home, but we clearly do not, you know, they serve no purpose when you get home, or the fridge magnets and you're like, oh my gosh, I dropped my, <laughs> I dropped my clutch, sorry. Looking back at the weird, now we found the gecko magnet that says Puerto Vallarta or Mayan Riviera. And that's exciting. I'll take two with it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I just keep dropping it. Oh, so irritating. And you keep shopping or you're talking and uh, whatever, you know, is happening business. And you, j oh, you just keep dropping your clutch. Don't worry. Check this out. My necklace that I have so beautifully been rocking here now comes as, I'm just going to unzip it. Uh, unclasp it like this. I'm going to pull this around. I'm going to take that clasp and I'm going to hook it 
a City Slim clutch right on here. I'm going to hook it up. So you can see you're just totally taking the end of your necklace, hooking it up there. I'm going to take this back end of my necklace, I'll hook it in there. And I'm going to rock my City Slim clutch like this, just like this. That uh, necklace becomes your handle for your bag. Eureka! How much fun is that? I'm no longer... I can reach for those creepy little magnets now that I absolutely do not need that I'll bring home in my envelope style slitty, slitty slim clutch. Versatilely be able to use the necklace as uh, a purse strap or the purse strap as a necklace. Way to go, Stella. Let's talk about the makeup. And I went definitely, as you, I'm sure you can see with this bronzier, um, more shiny kind of look for my face today. So uh, I don't want to bring a ton of makeup with me. I find when I go on these holidays, work holidays, that uh, when I'm actually shooting the wedding or doing sessions with people is the only time that I really ever want to be putting makeup on. For my face, what I ended up taking is this Mistura Beauty Solutions and... This is so funny to me because I found this in As Seen on TV because I had read about it online somewhere, somebody talking about this must-have powder, uh, Beauty Solution 6-in-1. And so this is the powder here. Again, I think it was 30 bucks from As Seen on TV. Um, I always throw the annoying little brushes inside out because I never use them. But all it is is like this crazy kind of bronzer brown business bronzer type powder and and I was kind of confused about it at first but it is an all over face powder that you're going to use and I just use a big old uh, fluffy brush with it and I have it all over my whole face right now and it kind of gives you like this sheeny glow which is interesting to me because it is not sheeny that's a new word that I'm going to start using uh inside the palette so it's not super shiny in there but when you get it on your face it's totally giving me this glow uh beach glow that I absolutely love so that is the and it comes in one color like it's one one fits all kind of business how crazy is that for makeup um anyways six in one beauty solution mistura Mistura, www.mysterabeauty.com. I'll put the link below if you're interested in looking into it. All I'm doing is going in with a big brush, doing that all over my entire face. I'll scooch up here just a little bit. And then from there, I took my absolute favorite MAC powder, mineralizing bronzer. Come on. Uh, and I've talked about this one before in the, I think this is the gold rush. I can't, I'm not going to be honest. I don't even remember what it's called because, uh, the name the label's gone off of it but it's just a super fun gold uh, um, bronzer with gold flecks in it and so all I did was take my brush dab it quite lightly in there get off any excess product and uh, suck in my cheekbone and then just super lightly dusted it on until I got kind of my desired look then I took my beach cruisers by essence blush and this is an ombre blush that was $2.99 not on sale, just $2.99. And Essence is the brand. This is it right here. And you can see how it's ombre here from the lighter to the darker. And so I just went in and took a little bit of the kind of darker side in there. And I just kind of sun kissed the top of my cheekbones in there. So that's kind of where the sun would hit you first, give you that little bit of sun kiss in there. And so just kind of that extra little bit of color uh, to go on top of my cheeks. Don't go crazy with that. The biggest thing when applying bronzers, blush, any of that is to build up. So don't just start like, <laughs> we can tell you did that. We can, we've talked about this. We've talked about this. Don't go crazy with it, but start building up towards it. So tiny, tiny, tiny little strokes uh, for the bronzer specifically. And then I like to go in and just give a little sun kiss on top of my cheekbones and uh, just to give it that sun-kissed look. I go to my absolute favorite um, lip gloss, which is Buxom, and it's the Celeste by Buxom, and I need to go get a new one because it's almost gone. Then for my eyes, I wanted to keep it pretty simple because I don't want to be taking around a whole bunch of eyeshadow and doing a bunch of crazy detailed eyeshadow. Um, it, days it's not going to happen I'm not going to do a ton of it and so I'm taking the essentials with me and my uh, highlighter essential is Albatross by NARS and again just a tiny I broke it and I dropped it and it broke today but it's just like a, a champagne -y white 
shimmery kind of it's got a little bit of the gold flex in it I'll come a little closer so you can see that and all I'm doing is going in I'll take this to kind of show you is I'm going in this area and I'm putting it all in along here on the highlight in there and so that's the albatross by NARS I have no control over these things. They're like giant moving caterpillars. Then for the color on my eyes, I wanted to go with something that had a little pop of color. So still kind of keeping with that whole beach theme, that sun-kissed look is um, Paradisco from MAC Eyeshadow. And it's this beautiful, again, gold infused um, eyeshadow with that just soft peach. And you can see I have it on my eyes here. You can kind of see the um, comparison to getting it on but when I'm putting this product on specifically I'm taking a very kind of stout brush because I want to take something that is packing it in I'm not trying to fluff or contour I'm just trying to really really purposefully set it in just in this area in here so that's where I'm taking um, or that's where I'm applying that kind of color in there so in here we've got the albatross with a highlighter and then I just kind of went in a half area there and put in the paradisco for my eyeliner I had to twist my own arm and stop don't take the liquid eyeliner I have taken Smashbox's antique gold eyeliner pencil eyeliner and I, I think it's really important that you understand when you're using pencil eyeliner to use tiny little strokes as you go uh, to apply it what I mean with that is I will take my eye and I will start and just kind of do these tiny, tiny, tiny little flecks as I go. Whether I'm starting in the middle or I'm starting from the outside in, I typically start from the inside and just kind of work my way out really softly. So uh, again, tiny little feather-like motions to, to keep it nice and soft in there and no harsh lines. I'm gonna do that all along the top and I'm gonna do it all along the bottom, but I don't go all the way in. I kind of stop about three quarters of the way and then I take a smudger off the end of any other stick, whichever, and I'm gonna go in over top and I'm just going to softly, softly, softly um, smudge that out. And again, when I get here on the bottom, I'm just kind of gonna move the product a little bit closer in that area. Again, not going all the way in uh, so that it doesn't get in my eye duct and get all creepy and gross in there. But just to be able to kind of keep that hole look really soft in there by using the smudger. One tip that I will mention is be careful when you're doing the under eye smudging because it can kind of give you that I just did drugs all night look that's total opposite of what we're going for. And so make sure that when you're doing your smudging, you're keeping everything up nice and tight under your eye. And should you want to take that extra step, which I often do, is I'll take a brush of my concealer and my concealer brush and I'll just kind of do a, a little sweep in underneath here to keep that all clean in there. To polish off your look, you can obviously use a waterproof mascara if you're kind of at that beach resort type thing where you want to have waterproof, just in case you never know when you're going to end up in the pool, cha-cha-cha, drinking martinis. Before I sign off today, I do want to share one little tidbit of information that I was given from my friend Kirby, who is out in Toronto. I had asked her about, uh, but I kind of, I had asked everybody, help, I'm packing and it's driving me mental. It's always this smorgasbord of throwing all this stuff that I think I might want or should take just in case. But I really wanted to hone in on being better at packing because I have to do it so often. Her suggestion was to pick a color scheme. And so I usually will now go between two to four different colors and make sure that everything that I'm packing complements and accessorizes well with that color palette. One of the other things that's really great about picking a color scheme is it really helps you eliminate things that you think, oh, maybe I'll just bring it just in case. Or, or I don't know if I for sure love it or I don't, but I'm just gonna bring it in case. If it doesn't match the color scheme, don't put it in your suitcase. Use that as a rule of thumb to pack and eliminate things that you don't need to bring because you're just simply overpacking. Hola, that is a lot of information in one video. Thank you guys as always for taking time to check out this week's Rock in the Dot video. We talked about the bags, the totes, the metallic, delicious metallic totes. We talked about uh, the beach face, that sun-kissed little peachy kind of look, love it. Uh, touch of gold in everything. Another thing that I'm bringing is gold uh, metallic tattoos. I'm going to try them. I'm quite excited about them. Uh, and then we hit on that quick packing tip. So pick a color scheme and stick to it. So no matter what you're doing this weekend, if you are blessed enough to be uh, packing for a trip like I'm doing, happy packing. Enjoy your trip. And no matter what you're doing, make sure you're rocking the dot.
Bye, everybody. Bye.